Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwarven.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fly the latest ColorOS ROM based on Android 16 onto Poco F5. So it's a port from the OnePlus 13 Chinese version and the firmware version is given here as well. Let me just show you in a second. So this is the firmware version, the ColorOS 16. PZ110 is the Chinese OnePlus 13 and this is the version of the firmware. So on that note, let's get started. First off, get the latest Android FZK from my article, extract them onto your PC. After that, you will get the following files as you could see over here, the files of the platform tools. Once that is done, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. That debugging is required for ADB command and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So let's now carry out both the task. For that, go to settings. From there, go to about phone and type on OS version seven times. Then go back, go to additional settings, dev options, and then enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking which is over here and USB debugging. Once you turn on both the toggles, let me verify that as well for verification. Type in CMD here in the platform tools address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt as you could see. One that is done. Now type in the command of ADB devices and verify that you are having an ID. So as you could see in our case, we are having this ID. If that's all well and good, now you have to unlock the phone. So let me show you an article for that. For HyperOS 1 and 2, I have an article for both of them. So please refer to the script given there and then get the job done. I also made a video for both HyperOS 1 and 2. In this article, we have the one for the method 1 is for the HyperOS 1 Android 14. And the third method for HyperOS 2. And we also have a video for both these methods. So please get the job done. Of, and once you unlock the phone, please re-enable USB debugging once again. Anyways, moving on. You will now get the ROM file from this link, the OnePlus 13 port, ColorOS 16, from any one of these three links. In my case, you could see we have got the file over here. This is the ROM file. If you want to flash via the recovery, use the zip file. If you want to, if you want to flash via the fastboot approach in fastboot, extract the zip file and you will get the following files as you could see over here. So in my case, I'm going for the fastboot approach because it's quite easy one. So let's remove this file. The zip file is not required. So let's remove that. Again, I'm repeating for the recovery approach, use the zip file. For the firewood approach, extract the zip file and then use this one, the second one. So I don't want the zip file because I am using the firewood approach. So moving on, let's now start off with the ROM flashing. So let's move the phone to firewood mode. For that, type in the command of ADB reboot bootloader and hit the enter key. The phone should now be in the firewood mode in a few seconds. Let's wait for that to complete. And once it's in the fastboot mode, type in the command of fastboot devices and verify that you are having an ID. As you could see, we're having this ID. If you're not having any ID, then please install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. Using the article and the video which we have shown here, the link is here. Once you install the fastboot drivers, do a right click on the Windows icon and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section, verify your phone is shown here in the Android phone section you could see as Android booter interface. This and the ID next to fastboot signify your PC is able to see the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So moving on, as I told you earlier, there are two ways, the fastboot method and the recovery method. The fastboot is quite easy one, whereas the recovery one will take up some time. It's quite a lengthy one. So let's use the fastboot only. In the fastboot method, you have to extract the ROM zip file, which we have done just now. And this is the ROM zip file. Now simply launch this file, the flashing script bad file. But before that, let's first remove the FRP from our phone. So for that, the command is quite simple. Fastboot, erase, FRP, hit the enter key. This is a must, so please do so. Let me show you over here as well. Fastboot, erase, FRP, please do that. Once you remove the FRP, you will now flash the ROM file. So now go to the folder, launch the bad file. The flashing will now start. Take up to around four to five minutes. So let's just wait for that to complete. So guys, the super file has now been extracted as you could see over here. Now the next option to choose if you want to save the data or do a factory reset by flashing a ROM file. A factory reset is a must. So please do a phone formatting. For that, type in the option number two, wipe data and hit the enter key. Do not escape from wiping because it is a must or else your phone will not, not go to the OS. If you don't do a factory reset, the phone is stuck in a boot loop. So please do a formatting. Choose the option 2 and hit the enter key. With that said, the flashing is now going on. 
सो लेट्स वेट फॉर दैट टू कंप्लीट सो गाइज द फ्लैशिंग नॉट कंप्लीट एज यू कुड सी फ्लैश कंप्लीट यू मोट क्लोज दिस एज वेल द फर्स्ट बोटिंग अप ऑफ द फोन विल टेक अप सम टाइम आई गेस फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी सेकेंड्स सो लेट्स कीप अ टैब ऑन दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट विल हैव अ लुक एट द बूट लोगो और द बूट एनिमेशन एज वेल विच शुड नॉ अपियर इन टाइम सून सो एज यू कुड सी वी हैव गॉट द कलर वॉज सिक्सटीन बूट एनिमेशन सो द फ्लैशिंग वॉज फाइन देर वॉज नो इशू वॉट्स एवर विद द फ्लैशिंग एंड आफ्टर दिस बूट लोगो वी हैव टू वेट फॉर अराउंड थर्टी फोर्टी मोर सेकेंड्स सो लेट्स वेट फॉर दैट टू कंप्लीट एंड दिस इज द बूट एनिमेशन एज यू कुड सी ऑफ द कलर ओ एस सिक्सटीन and this is something nice i have seen this for the first time so let's get started thankfully we have the option to change the language because the firmware is from the cn region the china region but you could change it to english the language at least next agree terms and condition let's agree this as well import data no that's not required let's skip that for now connect to wifi let me skip this as well let's skip this fingerprint password skip this for now gestures next and i guess we should now be in the os the animations looks quite nice all set and we are inside the color os 16 based on android 16 for the one plus 13 port so this is the from the right hand side okay for now they are both mixed if you want you may do a separation as well on the one hand side you will only get the you could see over here split choose the split and in this case on the left hand side you will get only the notification no qs tiles on the right hand side you will only get the qs tiles and no notifications this is quite a handy option and this is the ui as you could see then on the left hand side extreme left you will get this app the shelf you could say for the storage whether the walking steps tap to clean up and all of these tweaks wifi is also required for some of cards to work let's access the settings menu at quick glance let's okay it's required wifi as well i will not do for now Apart from that, device connect. What is this? Okay, you may connect to tablet, PC, TV, smart cards. That's great. Then home screen, lock screen, and style. Agree and continue. So, so these are the various themes as you could see over here. Let's see all the flux themes. This is the stock color OS theme, which is over here. As you could see, let's apply any. other theme and see how they looks you could see there are various themes options you could also get the theme online let's have a look at any one of these themes okay let me skip this wallpaper is fine style original narrow wide read lumina liquid grid let's keep this as normal one original only okay you also add the blur effect increase this well blur is not required for me This looks nice. The depth effect that is now implied, as you could see, turned off. It is now turned on. The wallpaper will now overlap and come forward as opposed to the time. The time is now in the back end. So you may also change the wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen. Both can be separate or the same. I am keeping them same for now. Apply. So let's see how this one looks. This might take a few seconds for the first time application. and after that okay what is this always turn aod aod is required for me and it's now implemented you could see i am not quite sure okay we can add apps i suppose over here uh, but i am not quite sure i have to verify that as well and this is the aod screen as you could see double tap to wake is will take you to aod double tap to sleep is also working then apart from that i've shown you already Okay, where we were over here. These are the various flux themes. Let me show you once again. Then these are the wallpapers that you could choose from: the four classic one, the five color OS ones, Sublime Grandeur, Blossoms, Calm, Light and Shadow, Zen Planet, Composition, Interactive. Eight wallpapers. You can also get the wallpapers from the theme store online. AOD. This is fine. But if you want, you may choose from these AOD styles as well. These are the same which you get across Ocean OS and Color OS, or the same one are there. This is the clock style which I'm having from the wallpaper style, so I will keep this one only. This looks quite nice. After that, we have the icon styles: Agree Terms and Condition, Classic, Flux, Radiance, Shadow, 
material pebble you could see all of these icons are over here the flux one looks quite nice let's keep this for now you may change the color as well as you could see from here let's choose the let's say second one you may also increase icon size from here the rounded corners increase that this is fine app name increase or decrease that let's keep it here only apply it's not implied applied as you could see for me this looks much better then apart from that in the font section you could tweak the font from here change the font size and font weight font weight increase that this is fine then home screen settings layout four class six show we know on the home screen which is the ai i suppose i can pull down just a swipe on the home screen to open the the global search okay it's fine swipe right on the home screen to open a quick glance which gives all the cards are over there as i've shown you in the beginning app animation speed enhance let's see whether not a major change but yes there is some enhancement in the app opening animations for now let's keep this turned off where was as i this is the settings then transition animations default or rolling cube flip card tent let's go with the roll apply and you could see it's implemented now apart from that in the lock screen tweaks raise to wake is required double tap to turn off or lock the screen lock screen signature agree and continue allow okay there are various option language input settings is fine let's well the keyboard is not what i was expecting it to be i'll have to change the language so let's keep it for l for a later time for not to take a lot of time then in the section of notification and quick settings status bar show or hide the icons from here battery style horizontal vertical let's keep it in a loop and you could see it's now change the top right then notification style locate list banner or the app badges let's keep it list only this is fine then apart from that in the privacy sections well what can we ask for the privacy from the cn based firmware i don't know how much private and safe they are actually app lock you may lock the app hide the apps as well okay hide the app from the home screen and in lock you could implement a lock screen such as the pin password of a fingerprint before opening the app privacy protection is there as well system cloner you may cl clone two or more apps such as let's say whatsapp facebook all of these can be cloned while usually there are some third party apps but in this case we have the option is there inside the rom itself that's great to see clipboard use the camera microphone no records for now because we have just flashed the rom clear voice okay that's an important feature I don't know why that's turned off privacy watermark let's not have the watermark for now then in the ai sections brino brino memory brino touch suggestions ai search writer as you could see we are, are having quite a lot of ai features from search to writer translate voice type even the recorder are there and obviously all of them requires a wi-fi for now it's turned it off so you could not be able to see that but they all are working well and good ai translate female or male download offline packs for the first time you will need to have a wi-fi connection set onto your phone to carry out this task then we have the ai writer as well agree and continue the ai search across various informations from various sources ai recorder voice the recorder i don't know how much these ai service will work but i have heard from somewhere that they are nice though not as expected but they will get the job done system update navigation gestures swipe animation beta show animation when you swipe to go back okay this is the what we were talking about animation then when they update you may install the ot update from this section or via the recovery mode or even flash it by the fast boot mode the choice is yours you must skip the factory reset in that case that's not required when doing an update system update about device you could see the color os 16 based on po the android 16 base for the poke f5 and user accounts about devices done so guys that's all from this video 
if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching